What's up affordable armory folks? How y'all doing? So over the holidays I went to visit some family and of course they know I like guns so what did we do? We went to the gun show. It was awesome. I love my family. They love me. It's great. Uh, so I hope you had a wonderful holidays too. Uh, anyway, so we went to the gun show and of course I was in a different state so I couldn't really buy any guns um, unless I mean I could technically go through their FFL, have them ship it to my FFL, whatever. But anyway, I didn't want to do that. I was just there kind of looking at accessories and stuff. And I uh, came across these magazines for AKs. Uh, and I had never seen them before. But they were super cheap. So I was like, huh. I mean, I got these two mags for a total of 20 bucks. I was like, that is one heck of a deal. Even if they don't work, whatever, I'll just toss them. But I mean, 20 bucks, I got a 30 rounder for $8, a 40 rounder for $12. And uh, so I'm gonna try them out. So after I bought them, I was kind of curious um, since I'd never heard of them before. I did a little bit of research. I found one other video on them and that was done by Mac, the Military Arms Channel. Um, in his review, he was comparing them to, um, he was comparing them directly to some magazines from X-Tech, and X-Tech makes AK mags, they make AR mags as well, uh, I believe, and um, you know, they're another polymer magazine company, whatever. But in, in his review, I kinda gotta take it with a grain of salt because he did the usual thing that he does. He said um, he bought the magazines and they're crap. and and uh, you know, usually when he does that, it's, oh, I had to pay for these magazines and they're crap. Or, oh, I had to go buy this gun because we couldn't get one in at Copper Customs, which is the gun store that he owns, if you weren't aware. Um, oh, I had to buy this because we couldn't get one into Copper and, and yeah, it sucks. Um, and then if you look at some of his other reviews, it's, Oh, this gun's great. Oh, these magazines are great. Oh, by the way, we have them in stock at Copper Customs. Sounds a little fishy to me. So I'm going to make my own opinion on these. Uh, I've only got two of them. Uh, you know, that's just what I got. And I'm going to try them out. So let's head over to the workbench. I'll kind of show you what they look like, you know, compare them to a Magpul magazine. And then we'll take them to the range and test them out, see how they do. All right, so here we are at the workbench. Um, I've got a PMAG here for comparison's sake. You can see there's quite a bit of difference. Um, so, I mean, they both have this blocky texture to them, um, you know, kind of a grid. And uh, this is definitely more abrasive than this. This is a lot smoother. Um, whereas these lines are very prominent. I mean, I can feel those in my hands, which could be a good thing, you know, when you're going to pull a magazine out, um, you want to be able to, you know, feel it, have a good grip on it. Um, so I've never been one to really care about the design on a magazine though. So it is what it is, you know, uh, just, just noting that that is definitely a more, uh, more raised feel to it. Um, as far as the uh, base plates go, you can see there's quite a difference there as well. The base plate on the AC Unity mag is a lot larger. Um, it's got, you know, kind of a um, raised edge here and uh, it stands out more. It's a little bit wider, it's thicker. Uh, but it's it's also just kind of plasticky, um, you know. I mean, it's it's polymer, but it's also like I think it's kind of a cheap polymer. In the military arms channel video, he noted that you can squish it, and that I will have to agree with. I can definitely like squeeze this with my bare hands. So if that's a concern for you, then maybe these are not the mags for you. Um, with the the Magpul, that is not the case. I cannot squeeze that at all. There is no give to that. That is a hard polymer. So let's look at some other differences. Uh, your locking tab is actually made of metal, whereas on the Magpul it is plastic. Um, the feed ramps, a little bit different, but I mean, looks like 
pretty standard stuff honestly your follower there your follower there on the PMAG um, feed lips are not reinforced I don't believe uh, so if that's important to you then um, you know don't get these mags uh, what these have that the Magpul does not have, I believe that is a bolt hold open, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we'll find that out when we shoot it, but I'm pretty sure that that's what that does, which is cool because uh, AKs don't typically have a bolt, hold, a bolt hold open feature. And uh, that's really about it, honestly. Um, they do make a windowed version of this, just like Magpul makes a windowed version. I don't really care about that. Um, I've never felt the need to see my rounds in the magazine. So, uh, but if you're into that, then they do make a version for that. And then this is the 40 round version, and it's pretty much the same, except it holds 10 more rounds. So, pretty cool. Without further ado, let's head over to the range and test them out. All right, so I've got the uh, AC Unity mags here. Uh, this one is the 30 rounder and it's fully loaded and this is the 40 rounder and it's fully loaded and we're gonna run them. Here we go, starting with the 30 rounder. there it held open that's pretty cool all right so let's try the 40 rounder in there and loaded was a live round that came out. Okay, well I felt a dead trigger on that last round, so I, uh, I went ahead and um, racked the bolt and it ejected what was the last round in the magazine. So, as you can see the gun is pretty hot from firing uh, 
70 rounds pretty quickly. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of it, but it's a hot. So I'm gonna set it down and, uh, but there you go. The, the uh, AC Unity mags do seem to work. Um, they do lock the bolt open as I thought they would. Um, had sort of a hiccup here and there, but it wasn't anything major. I mean, something you could clear very quickly. So anyways, there you go. All right, so we're back and I just wanna give you my final thoughts on these AC Unity magazines. Um, I thought that they performed okay. I did have a couple hangups, as you can see from the video. Um, the bolt did lock open just like I thought it would, which is pretty cool. Uh, but would I buy these again? Probably not, uh, for a couple reasons. One is they just feel plasticky. I mean, like I said, they're kind of, I don't want to say cheap, but they're cheap, yeah. Um, second is uh, the availability of P mags for around the same price, maybe like two bucks more or something. Um, I just, I will probably just keep buying P mags. I've used those on my ARs for I don't even know how long now, and uh, they make AK mags too, so I'll just keep using those. Uh, but if you want to buy these, then uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you not to. Uh, I will keep these, I'm not going to get rid of them. Uh, they just won't be my go-to magazines. So there you have it. As always, folks, uh, head over to affordable-armory.com. That's where the blog lives. We've got all of our affiliate links there now, and you have links to all of our social media over there. So just go to affordable-armory.com, and then you'll have everything you need. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.